Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, May 17th, 2017. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. The classic physique lineup at the New York Pro looks like it's going to be flat out ridiculous from top to bottom. But I get the feeling that's not going to be bothering Lee Banks one bit. After dropping off the radar for the better part of four years, the new streamlined version of the former men's open standout has been kicking butt and taking names in his return to classic this season. With back-to-back -to -back top three finishes at the Nascimento Pro and Pittsburgh Pro already this year, Banks has probably been one of the more underrated stories of the season. But pulling off a top three finish in New York, well, now that will keep everyone talking. Sometimes in sports, it's better to keep your mouth shut and let your performance do the talking. And right about now, I hope everyone is catching Sean Clarita's vibe loud and clear. Only a few days away from making his 2017 debut, a seriously upgraded version of the 212 Giant Killer is starting to pick up steam. According to inside sources at the Clarita camp, this year he's coming into the New York Pro at somewhere close to 170 pounds which would make him an almost 12 pounds bigger than he was last season. When it comes to quality, presentation, and conditioning, there aren't a whole lot of athletes out there across the board who are more consistently great than Sean Clarita, year in and year out. And I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if he landed a spot in the first callout and battled his way to a top five finish. I've heard people use the expression that it's lonely at the top, but why do I get the feeling then that it doesn't seem to be bothering women's physique star Daniele Castillo, even a little bit? After shocking the world with her game-changing win back at the Arnold Classic, the unassuming superstar has been pouring all of her attention into her first ever Olympia prep, where the unstoppable force will clash with the unmovable object as she squares off with defending champ Juliana Malacarne. The look we saw Castillo bring to the Arnold has an undeniable wow factor that really took your breath away as a fan of women's physique. And in a shade under 20 weeks from now, the world will be watching to see if she can deliver a repeat performance that will literally shake the foundation of the women's physique world and completely change the landscape of the entire game. To paraphrase the words of the immortal notorious B.I.G., I'm going going back back to Cali Cali, or at least that seems to be the theme coming out of the Griffin camp these days. 13 days out from making his season debut at the California Pro, second year standout Charles Griffin is ready to make a strong push for some hardware. This week Muscle in the Morning was able to get our hands on some exclusive photos of Griffin, who says that he's currently sitting at a cool 244 pounds. Expectations are high for Griffin after his solid rookie campaign and a top five finish at the Cal would be just what he needs to get year two started off on a high note. I've heard people say that there's nothing quite like summertime in Chicago, and apparently Dobry DeLev must be a big fan of the Windy City. Late last week, some new progress photos surfaced of a crazy looking Dobry DeLev, who is apparently set on coming in to defend his title as the reigning 212 King of Chicago and hopefully avenge a forgettable appearance at last year's Olympia in the process. The Lev looks like he's gotten back to that grainy, hypervascular look that we've seen him roll out time and time again in the past. And when this guy is out there firing on all cylinders, there aren't a whole lot of athletes good enough to stop him.